Time for just a minute, Cross's Big Head reporting. Jamal Adams won't be attending mandatory minicamp this week. No problems here. It's an excused absence. But it is interesting that some view Adams' situation with some trepidation. Let me use my big head to put your mind at ease. First, Joel Corey speculated that Adams will want to be higher paid in the top safety because he's a premier pass rusher. I happen to think the Seahawks will agree with that. So it means it's north of $15.25 million. But as Corey also points out, Bob Wagner is the top paid defensive player. So south of $18.25 million. The bottom line is the Seahawks gave up way too much in order to get Adams for just one year. That would be the kind of move you make when your management sucks. And as we know, for a decade now, the Seahawks have good management. Once you get down to it, it's really talking about guaranteed money. And within the parameters of 15 to $18 million, which is what you're really talking about, with a nod to his injury issue last year, that's where the deal will be made. I'm not really a big fan of minicamps anyway, so I would just root for no one getting hurt rather than worrying about a guy who wants to be here and the Seahawks want to have here. Stranger things have happened, but I think this one will work out in plenty of time at training camp for both parties. And that's just a minute, Gross's Big Head reporting.